and we're off. The summer travel season has officially begun. We are packed. We are ready to go. And we are going to take you with us and we're going to try and keep to our 330 rule. I think today's 330 rule will be leaving at 330. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, so uh, we're on I-75. We're leaving our home, which is in uh, southeastern Michigan, uh, north of Detroit. And uh, you know, to go west, we're actually going north. I'll give you a geography lesson. Michigan Lower Peninsula, we're driving straight up to the top. We're going to take the Big Mac Bridge, go into the UP, and head west. Now, we love the UP, so uh, we're going to take US-2 all the way across into Montana and Glacier National Park. Now, I don't know how well we're gonna do with our 330 rule today on day one. Uh, however, I'm promising we'll stop by 330 miles, but we're gonna visit some friends on the way up and we're going to maybe do a little shopping. So we're gonna kind of take our time going up, and not necessarily stop at 3.30 in the afternoon, but we're not gonna drive any further than 330 miles. At least, that's the promise for today. Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Now, this place we're at now is known as Mackinac City with a W. That's the Mackinac Bridge with the C, the Straits of Mackinac with a C. There's Mackinac Island out there, that's with a C. How come one's got a W and one's got a C? Because the French ended the word Mackinac with a C while the Brits ended it with a W. Tradition has it. The bridge above ends in the sea. Anything south of, like Mackinac City, ends with a W. But you pronounce them both, no matter how it's spelled, Mackinac. We are going to go over the Mackinac Bridge, and we want you to come with us. Let's oh, go. Right. They call the Mackinac Bridge the Mighty Mac, or the Big Mac, and it is just that. An attraction in and of its own, and an engineering marvel that took three years and 3,500 men to build. We've crossed it in an RV dozens of times, in all sorts of weather, in snow, rain, and wind. So don't be worried. This crossing we're taking you on now is the perfect summer weather. Thank you. 
here are some facts and figures about this awesome bridge. When it opened in 1957, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world, at just over five miles long. Today it is the fifth longest. The height of the roadway above the water at mid-span is 199 feet. The depth of the water under the mid-span point is 295 feet. cables holding up the bridge is 42,000 miles. Sometimes in the winter, ice and snow accumulate on those cables and drop down on vehicles crossing the bridge. In 1989, stiff winds literally blew a woman traveling in a compact Yugo car right off the bridge, plunging 150 feet to the water. It took days to find and recover her body. In 1997, a man died when his Ford Bronco went over the bridge, but his death was ruled a suicide. There have been about a dozen suicides from people intentionally jumping from the bridge. Bridge officials have a program whereby worried drivers can ask and then have a bridge pilot drive your vehicle across for you. In high winds and bad weather, the bridge is closed to traffic. Trucks often must travel in a slow caravan led by an escort. Sand is used for traction on the roadway in the wintertime. Salt is never used because it would corrode the metal grating that makes up one of the lanes, and it would also pollute the Great Lakes. The bridge crosses the Straits of Mackinac, precisely where Lake Michigan on the west meets Lake Huron on the east. The busiest month of the year for bridge crossings is July, when about 610,000 vehicles come across. The slowest is January, with about 180,000 vehicles. The fare for crossing the Mackinac Bridge for cars and RVs is $4. Hey there. Hi, young man. What are you guys up to? Coming to feed the bugs? Coming to feed the bugs, absolutely. Right. You bought a receipt? I uh, know, that's Have good. Have a nice time out uh, there. Thank you. <laughs> Coming to feed the bugs. That's right. We haven't told everybody about the, uh, about the mosquitoes and the black fries in the UP this time of year. I have a feeling we'll know about them very soon. So here's our spot. We are at the Straits State Park uh, in St. Ignace. That's just the first city uh, on the UP side. And we are right literally on the water. Let me just give you a quick look at what we got here. You can see there's the water. Uh, there's the bridge out there. The Big Mac Bridge that we just uh, came across. What you don't see is uh, all of the mosquitoes that are swarming. <laughs> they are all over the place here. They're uh, all over the camera and they're probably all over my head. Have you seen the mosquitoes yet? 
Have you seen them? Uh, not yet. <laughs> There are so many mosquitoes. Really? They're, yeah, look at them all. They're biting Oh my, me. I'm going back in. <laughs> That's why the mosquito is the official bird of the Upper Peninsula. <laughs> there aren't that many of them. Uh, it's pretty, but the bugs are really bad. Now I know what that guy meant when he said uh, he came to feed the bugs <laughs> when we came across the bridge and paid the $4 toll. We were bug bait <laughs> bug bait but hey we got a great spot there is our uh, spot here at the Straits State Park uh, it's not very crowded at all there's no electric so we were able to get this uh, absolutely terrific spot uh, right on the water and uh, that's good us and just a few thousand mosquitoes <laughs> After we settled in, I did some research on the internet and found out those were not mosquitoes, they were midges. They're larger than a mosquito, they don't bite, they swarm, they're a nuisance for a couple of weeks and then they're gone. But there are plenty of mosquitoes out there this time of year and they do bite. Midges and mosquitoes. And weren't there some black flies in there as well? There were some flies out there too. <laughs> hey, bug bait in the UP. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. We want to thank you for watching this video. Would you do us a favor and uh, click the thumbs up or give it a thumbs up, like the video. YouTube seems to pay special attention to us when people like our videos, and we hope you did. Also, we hope you subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.